Hey, do you find yourself snacking in front of the television, always wanting just a little something sweet or salty while you watch TV, and it is totally undermining your health goals? I'm Angela, I am a certified health coach and a registered nurse, and I help women over 40 to get their health back. This is so common. Eating in front of the television is just, it's what we do. And we don't have to let that be our norm anymore. We can break that cycle. I know that that was definitely a cycle for me. I always like to have something to snack on. It was just a habit and I had to break it too. So let me tell you two simple ways to break that habit of eating in front of the television. The first thing that you can do that it works for me and I encourage you to give it a try and that is to brush your teeth. <laughs> so after you have dinner, after you say, all right, that's it, I'm done with eating for the day, I know that I'm going to wanna eat later but I'm not allowing myself that today, I'm not gonna indulge. So I'm gonna brush my teeth and you brush and you floss and you get your mouth feeling so good and clean and you're gonna want to keep it that way. It makes it so much easier to just say, nah, I don't want anything else because then I'm gonna have to brush my teeth again. So super easy, just brush your teeth, floss your teeth, do a mouth rinse, whatever it takes to make your mouth feel good and fresh and not want to eat. And the second tip that I have for you, if for some reason brushing your teeth doesn't work, is to do something with your hands. Find something, uh, maybe something else to do besides watching television. So sometimes it's just, there's just this habit and this connection between sitting in front of the television and doing something with your hands like eating. And so it can be something like knitting or crochet or cross stitch. You know, these are kind of things that, that we can do in front of the television. So if none of those things, if, if, if you can't find something to do with your hands that you can also do in front of the television, then it may be that you can find another activity besides watching television that will be um, better fuel for your soul and spirit anyway. Uh, it can be something that you've always wanted to do. Maybe taking up photography, maybe picking up a guitar. That's what I've been doing lately and it is a lot of fun. Um, so maybe learning some sort of an instrument that your child had laying around the house and he had given up on, maybe. Um, or it could be uh, painting or uh, sewing. Uh, you can think of all kinds of activities that you can do with your hands or uh, even just reading a book. You're holding a book in your hands and so it's a lot harder to hold a book and eat, you can do it, I know it's possible, but <laughs> it can be um, messy and you get crumbs in your pages, so it might work. So give it a try, find something that you can enjoy to do while you're watching TV that busies your hands, or something that you can do that will keep you off the couch and doing something else with your hands that will fuel you and help you to actually um, you'll feel better and you won't want that snack it just you won't have that um, that relationship that a connection of oh when I sit here and I watch TV I eat a snack that's like the subconscious thing that our brain tells us and so you there's other ways of breaking the cycle but these things are these two things are super easy brushing your teeth or just finding something to do with your hands if this has been helpful for you i would love it if you would subscribe to this channel so that i can continue to help you to get your health back until next time bye for now